Hey Floss Tube. I'm Ashley. I'm Marla. And we're the Sweetheart Sisters. It has been a little while now. It's been a month again. That seems to be our pattern is every month. So I guess we'll kind of stick to that. Because it works better. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. It is roughly right around, what, 10.30ish? At night. Uh, I think it's like 11 o'clock actually. I've been so induced. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Yeah. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock-ish at night on October 25th, 2018. Um, life update. Life update? There's been so much that's going on. Um, this one has finally graduated from her program, got her licensing, and is in the interview process to be an EMT. And she had her first interview this morning. Yes. And it went really well. Um... And then and she I, has another one on Monday, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then this one um, is doing independent sales consulting for uh, Van Tel Pearls. Yep. I will be doing live parties on Facebook and maybe on YouTube once I kind of figure out how to work the live more on YouTube because I know how to use it on Facebook. Um, so you can look at my page at um, along the Pearl Reef on Facebook. Um, the page will be, or sorry, actually it's already up. I'm just filling in things and getting the shop button and getting my page set up. Um, so that'll be along the Pearl Reef with Ashley for Vantel Pearls. Um, my photo will be there and then my cover photo will be of all the new like special products for this month. So October being Breast Cancer Awareness, that is my cover photo. Um, yeah, and sorry. <laughs> some of the Christmas products. Yes, people, we are already thinking about Christmas and trying to sell and get ready and buy all everybody's gifts. I've already started, I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually was going to keep the gifts that I bought today as Christmas gifts, but I gave them to her. I was. I just didn't know. <laughs> I would have smacked you. <laughs> um, so, yep. If you guys are interested, watch me open oysters for you guys. And you guys can uh, select your own jewelry. Um, just find me on Facebook. Um, or just send me a message or a link down below. We can talk about it. Anything from it. Yeah. Um, more life update. My regular work job is crazy. Um... My the house that we were working on is completely finished now. It is completely done. It is on the market. Yeah, and we already have offers, so it's really good. So hopefully that'll be gone and sold, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, and another thing that's been going on with us, we have finally decided that we're getting married, guys. We finally <laughs> set a date. Yes. Yeah, so. We are getting married May 13th, 2019, um, and we have decided to get married at Disney. Yes. We love Disney. Um, you guys don't even know. Um, <laughs> it's part of our life. When we first went there, it was like being a kid again, and I want to go back every year. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. I love going there. You can never really get bored. Um if you get bored, I, I don't know what to yeah. tell you. There is way too much to even begin to do for that. But it was amazing. And thinking about we put our life on hold for the last year. There's been so much that's been going on with us between my mom passing away, moving into a new home, getting settled, settling all her stuff. Then us deciding to move in. My schooling. Ugh, jobs. It, yeah, it's it's been a yeah. roller coaster, truly. So engagement wasn't really engagement. It was just getting our crap together. It was, and you know it. Love you too, honey. <laughs> but, but anyways, <laughs> since we're going to go that route, um, you want to start with finishes? I have no finishes, people. Sorry. I got nitty finishes. You guys want to see? <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys have been following Instagram, um, I do post on there on occasion when I'm on a whim. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is... Man, that's washed out. 
I can turn the light off if you want me to. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. It's, uh... You need to turn that light off. I can't do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Yeah, look at that. You guys can see it now. Um, I call it my Napoleon uh, ice cream dishcloth. Yeah, minus my ends. She ain't done completely yet. No, I have a, I keep it in a bag, and then when I decide to wash it and press it, then mm -hmm. I'll weave it in. It's a really pretty pattern, though. I like this pattern. It's like a, it's a, it's a textured. I don't know if you guys can. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see it. But, yeah. I'm going to say sorry right now, because both the dogs are behind us sleeping. So, if I start snoring, I'm going to advise right now to turn your volume down. <laughs> Don't turn us down, just, yeah. Don't mind. And then I also made, like, a, a beanie hat for myself because I don't really have any hats. Um, there's the top of it. I did it. The top was a little bit different to do uh, due to the fact that I increased the original stitches from the pattern. So I increased it by 10. So I had to do something... A little bit different, but it turned out good, though, in my own personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And then okay. the rim, warm, um, <laughs> the brim, I only did like a inch, inch and, and three quarters, I don't know. you know, that's what it is. It I'm like measured. It. Um, yeah, that's what that is. And then. The body is all, but I did this with a little bit of yarn puking and I picked up another skein just to finish from basically about here up. That's about it. Mm -hmm. So, because I had some leftover from a previous project. She's been on a yarn like Palooza. Oh my goodness, I have the knitty bug, guys, and you will understand what I'm talking about when I show you all my whips. And her finishes, she's not doing it. Uh oh, I'm not done. I have been on a roll, guys. It has been like absolute craziness. Remember that uh, dish towel I was making? Guess what? It is done. Did Look at that. Your other one? Yeah, it's I'll in, it's in my whip bag. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. My perfect cute little hanger. Yep. But sit there and then these, it just gently folds behind because it's the way it is. Mm -hmm. And then if you really want to reverse it, that's what the other side looks like. But yeah. So, mm -hmm. there's that, and then I got my lovely demonstrator here, you know, to demonstrate the next object. I put my hair up. Why didn't you tell me? Well, you already knew how this was going to work. We tried this earlier, but the tablet died. Yeah, we were like six minutes in, and then it just decided to, yeah, nope, not today. And yeah. it died. It tanked. But she uh, wanted me to uh, knit her a cowl. A hooded cowl. A hooded cowl. Because I'm not a big scarf person or a hat person. In the original yarn that it calls for, it's a tad bit rougher, and she didn't like it. It wasn't that I didn't like the texture. It was I didn't like the color. Because the color didn't... We ordered it online, and I thought it was a different color. Like, they were totally different colors when they came... When she got it in. It's still not a bad color. It don't isn't. get me wrong. But... But this is the color I wanted. This is the color. It's like a truckle. It actually matches the blanket that I was doing. My, my whip for my blanket, which I think I've put like two rows in. And you guys seen the last one, it hasn't changed. Yeah, it hasn't. It's maybe like that, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, this is the length of it. It's really heavy, guys, too, by the way. It's, it is super warm. But it's pretty. I mean, It is you. soft. It's super warm. Look at the... You can see how shiny it is and the ribbing on it. It's pretty. It, it's... Can't you demonstrate? <laughs> I worked so hard on it. Yay. I, I knitted furiously on this for like two and a half weeks because I, I wanted it off my needles. I just, I wanted it done. <laughs> Woo so so either like she this, can wear it like this. Which is really comfy. Or option B. I can wear it like this. Which, you know, it's pretty roasty toasty. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I like it. I have to wash it and block it still. I'm hoping that it actually will start to loosen up because it's pretty tight right now. 
Well, I'm a little bit of a tight knitter, but that's just a little, a lot. It's my own personal preference. Um, it is. I know. Should have your grandma try to make it. She probably would really. She loose. is, but she's doing it with a size down and using U.S. tens. But she is saying that it's making up smaller than what she wants. But it is what it is. Well, she's making it for Jenna, isn't she? Uh, shush it, Jenna might watch. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, Jenna. Spoiled your Christmas guest. Um, Don't tell Grandma, please. Yeah, <laughs> just act surprised. Um, anyways. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell our family right away on Christmas. Oh, yeah. I watched it on YouTube. Oh, it's okay. The first year that I went to her family for Christmas. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so funny because... <laughs> By the way, don't let her rap ever. I am a wonderful rapper. I will rap all of your gifts. Don't give her duct tape. Don't give her any type of tape. Okay? I like tape. Because she kept asking me what I wanted case. for Christmas or like my good gifts like I would really, really like. And I'm like, what? You know, I already told yeah, her what you, I wanted. You know how Christmas goes. You usually get like a really good gift, the one that you've been wanting all year round or, you know, it's clothes you know how that goes but clothes are still helpful don't get me wrong but you know it, it, the worst case scenario is like getting a box of underwear that's horrible but you know then they've done that okay <laughs> <laughs> but no she was telling me and I said why and because she's like oh well my mom got you a gift and I said why would she get me and she's like I can't tell you I'm like whatever I'll know by the end of the day and sure enough she told me I was like well you're you horrible is, you know but what is it no, she didn't. I didn't even ask her. She had slipped because I was looking at something in the store, and she's like, "Oh no, we don't need that." I said, well, "Why? You already get it for Christmas?" She's like, "Yeah." I said, "No, your mom probably got it for me for Christmas." She's like, "Yes." And I'm like, <laughs> "Figured." <laughs> and it's been like a pattern every year. I kind of expect, but I don't expect at the same time. So I have a confession to make, guys, about stitching. I've made only a little progress. It's not like worthy enough to show. Um, you still know you've completed like two or three squ two squares. Yeah, last time? No, I haven't. Not really. <laughs> you still show it because I know you've done progress. On it. I, I don't have it in here. You finished the cookie one, didn't you? Yeah. They haven't seen that one. No. Oh. Go get it. Oh, here. Can you? Please. Hmm. You showed all your knitty stuff? Yes. Uh, no, sorry. Go ahead. You just had pizza. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> yeah, some really good pizza, guys. It's by uh, DiGiorno. Highly recommend. It's like a spinach and mushroom pizza. It's by my bedside. Yeah, I know. What? Hold, please. You got it? Yeah. Okay, you can go on your whip parade now. Um, I had some yarn starts and some starts ends very quickly the last couple of weeks. It also flows into haul, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did start a cowl and then I ripped it all out because I got angry. Cause somebody... Oh, she got very angry. <laughs> I, I mean, though, this is like... I want to throw you against the door angry. <laughs> well, I um, have never seen her that angry before. Well, it was like 200 and something stitches for this cowl. 204. Though. Yeah, 204. And I had got it all, and I was like, I'm knitting away, and I was doing really good. And she's like, you're knitting it wrong, and said that I was doing something. And I wasn't doing it wrong <laughs> at, the, at the end. And so I did it the other way, and I screwed it all up, and I had... I got so frustrated. I said, Marla, don't you damn talk to me again when I'm doing my knitting. Because I was doing everything right. And she had to pop her nose in there. I'm like, next thing I know, here it's coming off the needles. And then, <sighs> to where it's nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, you're counting them back on this time. And then all of a sudden, I know I'm getting the <laughs> evil eye <laughs> from afar. <laughs> so I told her, I said, you have to cast on for me next. Mm, I said we'll see. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's not what we see. It's gonna happen. Um, so we'll actually talk about yarn haul. You want to do that first? Yeah, that was. Or you want to do stitchy haul? No, let's do yarn haul and get all the yarn out of the way because there's a lot of yarn too. I like my yarn. Don't I did a little bit on my blanket. 
but only a couple rolls. Not enough to show you guys. Um, nothing like you know, like half a blanket done or anything like that, guys. I wish I did, but you know, to be honest, I got so much crap going on right now. Hashtag life, um, especially with the pearl thing going on. It, yeah, I know. So I'm gonna go into my yarn haul um, because I kind of. She has more than me this time. It, it happened to hop in my basket as I was walking by. I don't know what to tell you guys. I really don't. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever knitted with this, but it is super soft. And you guys can see it too. My intention with this is to make another one of those beanie hats, but with this, because it is so soft. And, it, and I like the color. It would go really good with my uh, jacket I have for fall. Um, and, you know, it tells you roughly how many balls it's going to take for a hat or a scarf. It's got like a little photo. Ooh, washing out. There you go, guys. But, yeah, it tells you how many balls if you want to make a sweater out of it. And this color is stovepipe. So, I got one of those. And then... I went back because I liked the way it felt so much, and I discovered that they had colors besides neutrals. So you know what I did? I picked up a color because um, I wanted to see how it would work up, if it would work out right around the same or things of that sort. But this is, and they're both by Lion Brand, do you mind you? And this color is corduroy. So, mm -hmm. and again, it has the little guide here, and you get roughly. Let me see if I can find it. If I can read. 246 yards per skinny ball. Hmm. So, which ain't bad either. So, that's what my intentions are for those. Mm -hmm. I've been on like a hat espionage lately, guys. Yeah, it actually has. I, it, well, I only had like two hats that were my own and that's it. <laughs> and then that one day I, could, I couldn't find any of them. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm wrong to it. Mm-mm. Well, I have three now, but you know what I mean. You have one your grandma made you. Yep. And then I have your, oh, like, well, I have four. I lied. But. Plus the one I got you, I just need. For because winter. For winter. Uh, okay. Know. So this one. That I, I like got, this one. She is claiming that she's going to steal it once it's done. Um, mm -hmm. No, I'm going to claim the one she's working on right now. No. Yep. That's mine. You guys will have to see that. That's that's also kind of haulish, whippish, but we'll get into that too. Um, this is by Big Twist Yarns. It's called Gray Denim. Look at that. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I'm not going to get... How many yards is this? Forget. I never look at the yards. 270. Mm -hmm. But um, right around the same. But... Curry is. I can't stop yawning. I don't know why. Sorry. See? Hopefully, oh, don't. Um, <laughs> I brought a drink in here. I'm so thirsty. We'll go get one while I talk about yarn. Um, she'll be back in a minute. But my intentions with this is going to be to make another hat with it. Whether what design I'm going to go with, whether I'm going to go with my grandma's traditional, where it has like a three inch brim to where it will cover a good majority of your ears and it's uh, knit to purl to. Um, to create the ribbing and it goes all the way up until you get almost to the very top and then you knit the rest and when you are decreasing I don't know if you guys understand that but I'm gonna assume you do and then I splurged I think this is the most I've splurged yeah ever he was pretty expensive ever both skeins I splurged but guys, oh, yeah, that's right. the colors. Look at these colors. Isn't Look at it like Apple Orchard or something. Yep, this is um, Splash of Colors Yarns, uniquely bold, hand dyed yarns. Um, the colorway is yeah, called is Apple, Orchard. Uh, Apple Orchard. It's 100% super wash merino, four ply worsted, 218 yards. So, it is really pretty. Yeah, it is super gorgeous. You guys can see it just right there. It's it's super gorgeous and she's been dipping our toes into more expensive yarn. I guess we both have. Excuse me. We have. Jeez. But she is on Facebook, Insta, Etsy, 
and Ravelry too. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to go check her out, you guys can pause that and Google it. Either way, um, and then she had another one there because Michigan fans, you Michigan kick state's one. butt. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we won. Anyways, yeah. They had Michigan colors, and this would go great with my yellow Columbia jacket I wear in the winter. I really, really like this part right here, like where it goes into the white. Yep, it has like little. That's the only place it really does tittle it bits in. of white in there to where it changes from yellow to blue. So it wouldn't have a green. Yeah, so you don't have that blue green, colors. that icky state color, you know. <laughs> and then. I'm going to not want to look at the comments after this. <laughs> oh, if you guys have issues about, you know, state and things of that sort. Of I bought a ball of this too. Um, we went there. We went to, where is it, Michael's? Yes. And they had a sale going on. And it was a good sale. Oh, you couldn't resist. And plus we had coupons. Anyways. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get mine out. This is something new that Loops and Threads have out. It's yeah. called Joy DK. Try cut double. Yeah. And it, it comes 232 yards. So, and yeah. it's about your average 4 DK. But look at the colors. And I know it's a mess, but it yeah, came. Yeah, they all came like that. It I mean, came that way. Mine was like the neatest out of the whole stack. And I'm like, I, I picked hers out and I went, oh, well, look it. It's still in a ball. <laughs> and yeah. then the rest of them, it, it looked like yarn puke that was just tied together. It was, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was horrible. But anyways, that's what it looks like. And then it's got this like fancy like little silvery bit right there. Mine, I don't know if these have colors. Does yours say a color on it? Uh, mine is Wildberry. Malibu is what mine's called. Mine's a really pretty purple, blue, teal mix. And I always get to try to crochet the, um, crochet. <laughs> that or knit. I kind of like the scarf that they have in here. And then uh, this they had on sale too. They had Lion Brand on sale. <sighs> um, I got this because I couldn't talk her into crocheting a cowl for me. Nope. nope Not she, the one she wanted. <laughs> she looked at the pair and went, ooh, ew. ew. <laughs> said, you need someone that's a little bit more what they're doing. And I said, call Clint. <laughs> Clint is um, my cousin. Her cousin, and he occasionally watches. Hi, Clint. But, you know, um, that's what he's going to be working with and the cowl that he's going to be doing for me out of his very generous, generous heart. So. I just looked at the pattern and I'm going, okay, I have not crocheted that much. I know what it is a bit. I can do all the standards, but that's got some stuff in it that I'm not doing. <laughs> well, it's just, I think you have to sew it together, too. And I'm like, yep. I don't think you sew it together. I think you pick up stitches. But anyways, mm -mm. um, have you guys tried these yet? I know Smells Like Yarn has been talking about them. Have you? Um, he's already done one. Really? Yeah, he has a video for it. Um, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But these are super cool, and I'm going to try color work. I'm going to dive headfirst in. I've mm -hmm. never done color work, but... Someone wants to say hi. Uh, that's our cat, Opal. This is Opie. But that's the photo that comes on them. And then you can download the free pattern from uh, Yarn Inspirations, if you guys know what that is. And this one, this color is called Morning Blues. And they're all tied together. Yeah, they're each in, is in an individual color. Yeah. They're not all tied together. They're yeah. all individual. They're But they're tied to each other. You guys know what yeah. I mean. They're just not and then, like, tied together. Yeah, this one is called Ultra Violet Minerals. I wanted to get that one, but she got it. I got it. Well, they had it's originally retails at seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine per little thing, and then it was on sale for five bucks. Yeah. Plus, we had a coupon. No. Yeah, we had coupons. Um, you can't use coupons and sale items. It wasn't for that. It was for the other was other big thing. It was the big thing. The thing that we can't talk about. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, ow, watches. Cat just shoved my earring into my side of my face. Cat abuse. 
Anyways. He's always got to have attention. Yeah. So he's over here. But. Robin and don't you bite my ear. Oh, I'm not done showing yarn, guys. What am I doing? Come on. We're already oh. at like 25 minutes and we haven't even got to cross stretch yet. What am I doing, guys? And I ain't even done my yarn yet. Yeah, I know. You guys are in for a long haul today. That's the one I was talking about. I thought you were going to show that one. What do you guys think of the color? I like it. It's um, not really showing up true. It's showing up more purpley than it is. It's actually more blue. Um, It's very blue. It's like a dark like, royal uh, blue. This is like a blue, and then here is like a very royal midnight blue. But it it has like a little bit of a lavender blue in here too, and a gray. Yeah. But I started to, I challenged myself, and I was cursing for the first like two hours. While attempting to do this. But now that I know how to do it, it's smoother. Just don't screw up. You know, otherwise rip it all out. Um, but yeah, I am making a blanket. That is what I am doing. And the color of this is called Nightberry. Yeah. And it is Karen Big Cake. These are something new that they came out with. Um and they do have other colors. They have more purples. They have lighter blues. They have like a sandy blue thing going on too. I know my grandma is also going to try this as well. Um, because mm -hmm. she was sitting here with me and there was, um, two, there was one, uh, specialty stitch in this pattern that I'm doing for this blanket mm -hmm. that she wasn't familiar with and we both had to look it up and how to do it and it took us a while. But we learned it. So, end of my rant. Your turn, honey. <laughs> you sure you got all your yarn? Yeah. That's Did you show the yarn that you've got in your... In my... Because we went... We went... It, it's a whip. Um, it's a whip. Okay, so I... Because it's on my needles. You guys are going to have to wait. Please stay tuned. Oh, crap. I forgot the pattern to show you. This is the one that I ripped out. The stuff is so... The one I made her super angry about, guys. This is what it... Okay. <laughs> I have the pattern, and it's so flippin' gorgeous. I'll have to show it to you sometime. This stuff is metallic. If you guys can see, if I can get it into the light, look at how that shimmers. It is metallic. This is the lighter purple and black, and it's so soft. I cannot wait to have this done. And then the darker purple... So they go side by side and alternate between each other. So um, we got these at a new yarn shop that's here. Um, not that far from us. It's about 10, 15 minutes away. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And then uh, next time we go in there, uh, I'll have to take some photos and things of mm -hmm. that sort. And Or I'll just insert some photos of their shop. I have some of those. Do you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we will do that then. Um at the end of the video. Very nice properly. people. They had a stitchy table. Uh, women were sit sitting around coming. You know, a lot of older women. Um, but There was younger women when I went there with my grandma. Oh, was there? Um, they were um, younger than me, even. Um, oh, wow. So they were roughly right around 17, 18 years old. Yeah, um, and it was really nice. They just came in, and they had this nice... They have this... It's like a big marketplace inside, and it's got food and... Coffee and well, everything. Crafts uh, and popcorn. Food and markets and gumbo and stuff like that. You guys can go Big and get some to eat and come in and knit and then go out and eat for a little bit yeah. with them or you can come back and knit again. <laughs> or if really you're fun. having trouble with a pattern. Yeah, that's so. too. You can come in and ask them, you know, how would you, you know, proceed mm -hmm. in, you know, and things of that sort. No no. No 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 no. So, but I, she, um, caked my balls up for me. Yep. Um, that was really nice of her. So I got that one project. Wasn't really that expensive. I was actually very happy with the yarn. And then I got to see if I have the other one in here. Do, 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 do. Uh -oh. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. What? What'd what? you do? Where'd I put it? The lacy one. Uh, I have no idea. <sighs> okay. So then we want, where'd I get this? It's a premiere every yeah, day. Yeah, but I got this at Michael's. Hey, stop. Michael's. Your cat is sitting in the pile. Hey, who knows? Um, this stuff is really soft. I think I'm going to learn how to knit a hat with this. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Cat issues. He always has to put his nails into somebody. But I'm going to try to make a hat with this because I have not made a hat yet. And of course, he's gonna come to me. This is made by Premier Yarns Every Day. Uh, let's see. It's a four. It's 180 yards. I'm gonna probably have to get what two more. For a hat? Yeah. Yeah. One. 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 Okay. You could do a headband with that if you really wanted to. Yeah, but I kind of like the hat that she's wearing, but with mine as well. You're going to have to make that ends match. Yeah. Because it's like a variegated. But, uh, I really, really like this. This is all acrylic, but it's super soft. I've never had an acrylic this soft, so, I mean, it's like really soft. Mm hmm. I love the color though. It's like a pink, black, gray mix washed together. And that is Premier. Every mm -hmm. every day. Anti pilling. And I have to go find out where the heck I put the other one. Ooh, uh oh. No. Oh. They keep doing this. But uh no no no. No, you didn't tuck it good enough. Yeah, they do it. This I got three colors because I'm gonna make a shawl or something like that. I haven't really decided. I think it's going to be a shawl. Um, classic Elite Yarns, Yuri. Um, it's 75% super wash merino and 25% nylon. It's from Classic Collectic Yarns. Um, classic Elite? No, Collectic. Classic Elite, elite Yarns. yarns I read it right. <laughs> um, let's see how many yarns are in here. 436 so it's a bigger hank so so yeah but this is one of them really pretty uh, medium dark gray it's kind of that's more of the color right there and then I got another one that one I don't know if it has a name these ones only have lot numbers yeah because the way they're dyed and then a light cream. Let's see if I can fix this one too because this one just... Ooh, look at that variegation. I know, the variegation in this one is what draw me to our... The, I'm not looking for this. I cannot wait to this take to, this, to the take to the shop to get it balled up. But I'm going to look at the variegation. You can you tell can how they did it. it. But it's so pretty. So, you just twist it again. And in we go. Yeah. This one's trying to be a pink one. But the colors are going to go together. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Um, then are the yarns, and then I have one more, which is a baby alpaca fingering yarn that I'm making a leash all with, but um, I'll get that later, I guess. Yeah. Um, so that's all yarn, and it's only it's already been a half an hour. Sorry, guys. Got yarn happy. Um, Put this back. Yeah. Uh, make sure that's all the yarn, that way we don't go back. Yeah, we all good. Oh, there it is. Found it. Hold on. What? What'd you find? That yarn. Oh. <laughs> okay, cat. Can you get your cat? What about my cat? Let's go take my... I forgot that I suck it back here. Oh, yeah, you got fed up. No. I just, I said I don't think I'm ready for that kind of challenge. Oh. I'll show you the pattern that I'm doing. Came as a kit. Let me hear my needles. Ping, ping, ping. The pattern is by Plymouth Yarns. It's Ink and Spice Simple Lace Cowl. And the yarn. Yeah, the glare. There we go. Look is at that it. Ink and Spice in Natural, I think is the color. Yeah, I think it's called natural. It's made in Peru. It's 45 ex extra fine merino, 25% baby alpaca, and 15% mulberry silk. Babe, watch that. It's very pretty. Actually, and too as you guys can tell, it's it has a little bit of a halo effect too, mm -hmm. but not too much. It's really pretty though. 
And I was doing not doing too bad with it actually. It's just getting used to the pattern. Once you get used to the pattern, that's one of the biggest challenges too. Yeah. But I've been knitting for quite a while though. I've not been knitting that long. I actually don't I've been knitting better since than I was, knitting. you know, yay high. So um I guess I'll do my fabric haul first. Go ahead, honey. So we knew that um Joanne's was having a fabric sale on everything Halloween. She's waiting for me to pull out my sewing machine. Oh, I am waiting. I don't know if it's going to be this year, to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to do it all. We'll see. We'll see. So I got a lot of my Christmas gift. You don't have to buy me anything else. Just that. Uh -huh. Tell that to the <laughs> yarn haul in the cart. I have no idea what you're talking about. None. Absolutely not. So I got this one for my Crow's Lullaby um, by the Permanent Pair. This is going to be my finishing fabric. I feel like they're upside they down. They are. There you go. There we go. go and then because this is EMT here. Well, it's Halloween y. Don't judge. It's more. It's the anatomy. I like this one more. She likes the other one. I like them both, to be honest, but... I like that one. They're cool. Don't get me wrong. And then this one is kind of the same, just more like purple and... This one's a little bit different. Vintage-y looking. Yeah. So, a little bit more creepy. So. I gotta find some finishing fabric to fit inside for those. Ooh. Yeah. And then I got this spider fabric. And then my ultimate favorite that I probably will go back and if there's anything left to get the rest of it because I love this so much. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I so. love it. I want to get the one with a Ouija board on it, but they didn't have I didn't see any when I was there. No Ouija boards. And then I was at Walmart today, and they have them uh, little rolls of fabric, and they had this cool purple spider web fabric. I thought it was so cool. There you go. For nine nine seven. For nine seven seven. Oh man, showing you guys the bad side. There we go. So that's just my fabric for the month, which is not that bad actually. Mm mm. I think I splurged on yarn. A little bit. Yeah, just a little. But, you know, it's going to be all used. It really will be. Considering, you know, we got all the yarn behind her. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, she's blocking it. Uh huh. That's the whole point. So that was our fabric. <laughs> and then we'll me. start with. You okay, baby? Okay. We'll do a cross stitch haul. How about that? <laughs> you want me to pause? Honey. Yes, please. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Baby girl was having a little moment there. Okay, so I was stitching on this last time. Uh, we're on here. I haven't really done but a little bit up here, and that's it. And this is the uh, Priscilla and Chelsea's um, Stitch Along Pick Your Own Pumpkin, pumpkin Hollow Farms by Country Cottage Meal Works. Um, hopefully, I'll finish it before Halloween, but doubt it because it's just been crazy. Um, and then. I did a new start. I actually got kind of humming along. So good, guys. I I think a couple of people I've seen stitching this. Um, it's the Emma Congdon Design Night Lights. L'Oreal Boilers. And I actually really, really like this design. And I've started on the right side. Whoop pattern. I'll do this. 
and I got that much done. Do you want to see the little outline of the tree? This is really, I mean, this is like confetti hell. Okay, people, just be like prepared if you were to do this. Very and it does use the new colors. Yes, it does use quite a few of the new colors. Um, <laughs> so if you guys are wanting to use the new DMC colors in a pattern, there you go. Because I think it uses every single one of them. No, it doesn't. It uses, I want to say, is it all of them but one or two? No. It uses, I think, like, uh, three? Three or four. Okay. One, two, three, six. Six new ones. Okay, and then I also started the hands-on design oh. year in chalk i've been doing some of these um the october and i'm actually not that far i'm pretty she's pretty decently along yeah i was actually stitching on this while she was taking her test her exam my national so we rode together and I told her it takes something to do because I don't know how long it's going to take. You know? It didn't take really long, actually. It took me 25 minutes. Um, but I have that much done, so all I have is a little bit more of the pumpkins, the stem, and then candy. Let them eat candy. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen a really cool like candy corn pattern that Basic Stitches was doing. Or she had copied somebody's design. I can't remember who it was, but I'm really thinking about doing that. So, I gotta make up my mind because I know I can finish this in one or two nights, so. I gotta get that done. I wanna get it done for Halloween. If anything, this is the pattern I want done for Halloween. I want um, my Christmas one done and the new one I have here. You guys will see in a minute. Um, <clears throat> And I think that it is all for your fall. That's all for wit okay. in progress. And everything <clears throat> else is haul that's down here. Okay, well, I will show my two itty bitty pieces of haul. So, whips. Your, your, um, I didn't make that much progress. I brought it in here for you to show them. Oh, well, yeah, you can show me. She did these. My camera ain't going to get anything. Oh, thank you. She did finish some. She does not think she does. <clears throat> to me, it doesn't look like it. Um, Do you have... I've made that much progress on it. I got the little sacky thing Oh, she on. finished this one completely. Because she was up here in the ornaments when she was here last. Oh, was I? Yeah. She's oh. done some. It's been a while then, guys. It's been a But, while. yeah, I would like to have this completely done by October 31st, I'm hoping. Completely done? Completely. And all you have to do is FFO it. <laughs> yeah, the other one is still patiently waiting in a pile. I've only finished two of my own. It'll get better. And then I had to order um, some specialty floss for one of my projects. From It's uh, one of the DMC ones because look at that. It's like so washing out. I had it. She just never. You didn't have it. Yes, this I did. Is different. This is uh, Light Effects E. 168. I do have it. Um, but yeah, I ordered a skein of this. I don't know how quickly I'll go through it, but I don't know if I'm really looking that far to using it. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> um, well, because you guys can see right there, it just, eh, you know, we'll see. But I gotta put that with that because I gotta kit that up soon enough too. I finally. Where's your pumpkin on your farm? I don't know where my pumpkin farm is. Probably sitting on your nightstand. Probably. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. 
Just like we would have never found out where she had to go to take her test if I didn't say, hey, do you got the directions? Yeah, I know. And we had to turn around. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord. Oops. Um, we got this, too. I seen someone else got done stitching it, and it turned out super duper cute. And I do like it. So. And it's like a little kit. So. And it has all your threads and everything of that sort. So I would like to have this done too. I got so many plans, so little time, guys. That's the Candy Corn of Mischief by Bent Creek. That's what it was. My first Bent Creek pattern. So. And she also got the new um, by Priscilla Blaine um, Automaker's Farm. Yes. Uh, that and Hands On Design. Hands on design. Yep. She got that pattern, but it's sitting in the other day, Mom. You guys know what it is. I'm sure everybody's stitching it. Okay, so. We've kind of been out of the loop. I got on Stash Unload the. Candy cane. Candy cane ornament from the Little House Who Works. And I also got the two flosses. I know, that's why I came over here. <laughs> Two has a pattern flashing you. Um, and then I'm going to stitch this for her grandma for Christmas. Hopefully, yeah. it's a it's the bloom where you are planted by Brenda DeVes, the little hummingbird. I got the fabric um, that I wanted to use, and I got all the threads. Threads, um, and I had to change one out because something's different about that pattern now. Um, well, it calls for a. A different it's oh it was a it's like an Italian no it was a specialty uh, like a Valdani special, yeah Valdani good yeah and I guess they didn't have it they don't carry it then she also we got the 2015 uh, holiday issue of Christmas ornaments because I want to do you know the one right in the center by Hands On Design. There's a couple other cute ones in here as well um, that we both want to do. Um, I know that I like how they set up the pages on in this one. Like. They set them up in sections like this, so. Mm -hmm. Do you like that one? And then the pumpkin stitchery was doing a buy one get one or something. I can't remember now. They came out with new ones. And they had a certain percentage off. Yeah, something like that. But I got the pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I got I love fall most of all. I love them more cute. And I want to get the witchy one too. I would really like to stitch that one. Mm -hmm. I love fall most of all. It's cute. I like the new one that says, I hope bet you better have my candy or something like that. Something is really cute. Um, and then I had got this pattern last time I was on the Whispered by the Wind and the Morning Tree. And I found a fabric that I'm going to stitch it on. It'll look really nice. So I got the, that fabric for that. I got fabric for my... A girl and... My crow's lullaby. Yep, there you go. I want to say a girl and pull, but it's not that. Um, and then I also got the Jordan Pre Previ. Previ? I think it's Previ, but I'm not sure. P-R-I-V-E. Um, Oop. <laughs> The Halloween, and then I got the um, fabric to do that as well. That is done on hand dyed linen, 28 count Wren. And I think pretty much well, a lot of the patterns that right now I'm doing are done with it. Sorry. Um, but that was supposed to be just no stitching, guys. I mean, oof. yeah, we, no time. <laughs> I have not had my stitchy bug, my knitty bug, my nothing bug. Either. I got the knitting bug, majorly. 
Now it's folly bug. You can't tell I want to go to bed. Can you? Um, it's late. Forgive us. <laughs> Everything's leaning. Um, and then I got the, some of the hands on design. <sighs> That was a Christmas series. You got the it's a deer new one tier. that she just came out with. I want to do that one, the Christmas Eve. And then for Marla, she picked out Noel and the North Pole Trading Company. So we're gonna stitch those for our Christmas tree because they kind of go with our our tree. Um, and I got all of the threads to go with that. So. so. Yeah, the only thing that we will need now is fabric. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be a project that we work on together during the when the snow hits. We'll see. Yeah. If uh, I'm home, <laughs> <laughs> then I, I just take my project with me. Um, I got the Halloween sampler by Cottage Garden. I've been wanting this forever, but I have to find the right purple fabric to stitch it on. There we go. Says abracadabra and then b is broom c is creepy d is dracula e is eerie and then what does that say f is frankenstein g mm -hmm. is goblins h is halloween i is intimidate j is jinx k is knocking l is loot and Emma's magic, but it's all it's all cute little sayings and things of that sort. And I like the zombie down here. That's kind of cute too. Zombie. Yeah. Where the hell did you go? That's a cat. No, it it says zombie. Oh, okay, I was about to say I thought you meant a figure, but okay. <laughs> and then I got I, my stitchy shop that got it in bless our home. Uh, for me, but I won't start until next year. For 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just ordered this fabric. It's 28 count. It's like a dark bluey gray. Is that showing up right? Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty true color. Okay. Um, to change my Christmas samplers that I'm working on. You know what would look really good? This would look really good on the hands on design. I would look good. I like doing anything blue. That's just me though. It's not really blue though, it's gray. It's a tealy steely gray. Looks like a steel gray. Tealy steely gray. And then because we're trying to work on our DMC collection right now, well at least I am, um, because I want to make sure to have one complete con collection before the whole increase, I got one of these big containers. Double sided. Yeah, double sided. And I started placing, um, I got all the new DMC in here. I missed, I actually missed one when I was, so I gotta go back and get one dumb thing to complete this section. I have all the variegateds in here, and then I started the regular. Um, so hopefully they're all fit in here. If not, I'll have to get another one. But it was $20 originally at Michael. I had a 50% off coupon, so I got it for 10 bucks. And on Amazon, they're like 20 bucks plus shipping or non-shipping. So it's still a better deal to look at your Michaels if you want this double-sided. Mm -hmm. um, it is actually right by the floss section. That's where it was for us. Yes. yes. It's underneath the floss. And hopefully most of the Michaels are kind of like that. So if you're looking for it, it's underneath the floss. And I'll probably be getting her one soon that way if she wants one. Because it's nice. It's actually pretty nice. I kept mine up a little bit differently than you, though. Yeah. But this is just to make sure that all the colors of floss are together. Yeah. And then the last thing I bought was, i seen this, I've been looking at this pattern, I'm like, I really want it, I really want it. And like the last like six weeks have went by and I'm like, whatever, I'm getting it. It's from Nadia. And it's not Nadia. It is. It's Nadia. Okay. Um, but Etsy. It's from Etsy. It's called the Space Tiger. Um, I don't know how to say her last name, and I know it's Russian, and I don't want to like slaughter it. 
but it's the space tiger and it's so gorgeous. I love tigers. Tigers are my favorite animal. I always have been since I was a child and I cannot wait to stitch this. So that is what's to come for me. I love, I was going to stitch it on black and then I'm like, eh, no, nah, no. Nah. So we'll see. Okay. I bought white 28 County to go with it too, but that's downstairs. Yeah. So lots of buying, no stitching. Um, let me show you what I got on my needles, guys. Oh, you still haven't shown that? No, I didn't go that far. But yeah, what do you know? <laughs> so, I got another painting dish towel on my needles. This is how it's working up. You can see it's kind of like cooling in a way a little bit. It is actually kind of cooling. Yeah, you can see it. It's playing with the colors in itself. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool, though. Little ball, ball you kind of. Okay. Um, I haven't made any progress on my sock, but you know I will be getting to that very very soon. I got some yarn I want to use. This is the one I want to steal. This is the yarn that she. I'll probably end up going back and getting another ball so she can make me a hat. I'm not making you a hat. You make your own hat. Um. This is by Cascade Yarns Eco, um, and it is um, made with baby alpaca and merino, and it is it does have a little bit of a halo effect, but it is super soft, and the further you get down into it, the little bit more white you get. So like up here is like the charcoal gray. I'm still working on the brim, but you can see how that's turning out. Um, but this is 90 stitches and I think it's going to turn out just fine. I don't think the yarn's going to affect the size at all, but where are you at? There you are. Um, but yeah, you guys can see how it's going to like salt and pepper it in a way. They do have different colors. Mm -hmm. I was looking at a red and black one when I was there last, um, with my grandma. So yeah. something to, uh consider yep so she's got a lot going on and i got a lot going on but mostly in my career life right now oh i do have it sitting here what am i talking about you right yeah i do i have it here i got this at um joanne's we had a coupon um it's 700 knitting stitches and i am playing with the idea of maybe designing a hat or two um, or possibly even a scarf and a hat set and seeing how that does. Don't forget to show them the thing I got you today to help you with it. Yeah, I won't forget. I won't forget. Totally. She's more at heart of knitting and I know that. Knitting will always be my first love. Mm -hmm. It really will be. Um, it oh, always. Oh, that too. I forgot about that. Yeah, see, like I said, <laughs> for, I was thinking about everything earlier and now my brain is... Right. It's been a long day. It, I've been running around all day. It has been such a long day, guys. Um, this is uh, another one from Filigram. Um, we have got the Christmas tree one. Mm, nope. Snow. What's the first one we got? Snow. I want the one with the Christmas tree. That's the one I want. Okay. Um, this is Welcome Winter. And let's see if I can get it. To, there we go there um it uses dinky dyes it calls for it but you can do the conversion too dmc yeah you can do the dmc conversion so but i think all the same colors are used in all four patterns i would really like to use the dinky dyes but i don't know i think or is it three patterns it's three patterns it's three patterns and it uses roughly the same and here's if you guys haven't seen it i'll show it to you guys anyways um, here's the new hands-on design, Automaker's Farm. This is actually the only one, unfortunately, that I've liked so far from that collaboration. I think she's still, they're still pretty, but uh, they just are, taste. They're gorgeous, don't get me wrong. The only thing I'm probably going to change out on this is the truck and the barn, because no barn and truck should be green, in my opinion. That's just me. It should be a red barn and a red truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way I am. And then... She surprised me tonight, and she found one of these. And what this is, see if I can take this off, 
it's a knitting planner and it has all of these tools and it has like a little pocketbook thing here and it will tell you what the tools are but let me get to a page where you guys would know but like this you can put what you're making um the pattern the start date the due date and how high of a priority is it to you you know type deal you know are you gonna give it away the next day or do you need it to be like asap you know type deal and then uh it has this little inventory chart where you can chart your needles what you have what you don't have i like that that's probably my favorite so, thing out of that whole thing especially for like circulars and it has all the sizes up on top too i'm hoping that she does go through that so we can see what she needs between both of us because i know i have most of the crochet hooks but i know i don't have all of them i don't this doesn't include crochet hooks. i know but <laughs> and i have some nitty needles and i know i bought a lot of knitting needles in the last couple of weeks for her oh I'm, and guys guess what I hopped on the bandwagon. I forgot to tell you guys about that, too. Oh. Yeah. And obviously, you see it's open because you guys are actually sitting on it right now. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it, it's just where it is. Um, um, if you guys followed my Instagram, our Instagram, um, but this is what I am doing. I am doing... Uh, one of my favorite Disney characters. There you go. Um, and it is coming along so beautifully. It's actually really cool. I actually don't mind doing it either, so. I'll get it. It won't stick together. You're fine. Okay. Um, but, yeah. It's actually, we are about, what, a quarter of the way down already? Um, yeah, about. About that ish. So, you know, but I'll yeah. insert a photo at the end as well of that. Mm -hmm. Um, so you guys can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the time you guys see it, it's probably going to be the next day. So definitely. Cause uh, I'll probably do it after I get out of work because yeah, I this gotta... girl wants to relax. I've been, <laughs> I had, I've been running around. I've been in town. I've been on the computer. I've been going to get her, but for packaging wise, it didn't turn out that bad. Mm -mm. I only paid, what was it, $20 mm -hmm. for this, and it took it a month and a half to get here, which ain't really that bad. I don't think it was a month and a half. I think it was less than that. It might have been a little bit less than that. I know the one I have is a, almost roughly about the same size. It's a 45, it's 45 a, by 60. like a hair bigger, but that's about it. Um, it's, a, it's a fall truck. It's a Hua Can. Um, I order off Ally Express, and then she has a Tiger that's coming too. I will show you a picture of that one and the one that's coming for her. Yep. Um, and then we'll unbox them when they come here, both of them, yeah. um, so you guys can see them. Uh, we'll do a little snippet I'm video. I'm sorry, I didn't unbox it for you guys. I just I got so excited. I wonder. Yeah, we did inventory um, right away when it came in and laid it out. She worked on it the, most of the night, and then I worked like a little section. Yeah, and, and then it's mine forever now. <laughs> well, I did a pretty big section the one night when I was really like giddy and. Just needed to calm down and relax. She did a big section yesterday, um, and mine is huge. Hers is a 45 by 60. Mine is like, it's big. Like a 65 by 120. It's a really long piece. It is so gorgeous. And it's a tiger, of course. It had to be a tiger. Um, and I found another one that I like that's, is that winter, the purple forest? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I showed it to her. She just doesn't remember. No, nope, don't remember. It's okay. a purple, no. like the sun shining through a purple forest. Oh, it's with trees and flowers and stuff. It's gorgeous. I know. Um, I got a few more that I want to order too because I got some of them are like uh, the section pieces mm -hmm. and things of that sort. I let her order another one. I said you can't get another one until you finish at least one. So she cannot get one until the stitch is done. Or the other one's done, either way. I'm serious. We'll see. <laughs> I said, plus she's got a kit. She wants to get these fancy kits from uh, Stitch Crate. Mm -mm. Or Stitchy Box. Mm -mm. Some blueprint. Uh, 
she wants to get a, a whole box worth of yarn from them with a whole bunch of kits and patterns and books and stuff. Learn. Which we've splurged the last month. I gotta say that. Um, that stuff. It's gotta rake it in and kind of get ready to for... rain me in. You know, I'm trying to work on canning again. We're still going strong with applesauce. Yep, really I brought another, you know, 18 to 22 pounds home. Yeah, I was not expecting that when I got home. She's like, she texted me, oh, by the way, Grandma got us some other bushel of apples. I was like, good freaking Lord, I got 28 pounds on the counter right now. And I was like, oh, that will be the last apples, and then I can start something else. <laughs> no, now yeah. I'm going to do apple pie billing, apparently. Yep. Because I only use galas. Galas. Galas, whatever. And they got Macintosh. Like, no, they're Jonathan's. Oh, they they're Macintosh. No, they're Macintosh is the first of the season. They are Jonathan's. So we got those. So I'm gonna see how apple pie filling turns out with them. I'm gonna can some apple pie filling for her grandma and her stepdad and me. I have some Northern Spies too, which are really good too. Yeah. So if you guys know what those I was are. hoping to be on salsa by now, but that didn't work out. No, it didn't. But. No. I don't know, my stepdad's in a canning whiz right now anyways, so he's done up, he has done 80, 90, 120 pounds of carrots, of carrots, just of carrots, that doesn't include all the 98 quarts of tomatoes that he's done, that doesn't include the pickles, the or, pickles or the pickle sauce. beets, or the applesauce, or the cauliflower, the corn, the squash. He's doing that now, too. Oh, and then we got pumpkins dropped off at our door this morning, too. Yeah, pie pumpkins. And somebody wants to try to make pie filling, too. Yeah, why not? I have a recipe for soap for that. Why not? Make it all good. Right, guys? My list is never ending right now. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> so that is all for us. It's a lot of everything. And... If you guys hung on for this long, thank you, thank you so much, and thank you to our new subscribers and our old ones that keep coming back for more and more to see what we're up to. Sorry, we are not more regular. Yeah. Um. We we really do try. We hopefully really with do. <laughs> the winter season coming, and I'm not doing stuff outside. The housing projects are done, even though now I have another project that I'm doing. Yeah. We'll but you know. Goes. We will see how it goes, um, mm -hmm. but as far as right now, we are going to do monthly um, mm -hmm. and things of that sort. Maybe with December coming up, we might do twice mm -hmm. that month, but, you know, we will see. Maybe we'll share you our Christmas vlog that we make every year. Um, it's just something that we've done since we met each other, really. The second year we started. Yeah. We record 12 days before Christmas, and we open a gift every day we just we get like small little gifts mm -hmm. and uh we do the 12 days of christmas that way um for each other and then we make um i make tons of candies and cookies for the rock candy and stuff like that mm -hmm. so. she makes the rock candy and i make chocolates and so much rock candy to make guys <laughs> truffles and homemade cinnamon ornaments were my favorite to make i um, made truffles last year but they got ate by the dog yeah. Still lived through it, though. Yeah, I know we did. Um, but, uh, yeah. yeah. So, a lot has went on. Um, another unfortunate event. I've lost two animals this month. And then due to old age, they were pretty old. One was, what was it, 18? The other one was 17? Rocky was 17 years old and Stinky was 18. Rocky had passed away. We knew he was, he was declining he, so fast. He had a stroke. So, um, I think he, yeah, we don't really know. I think he just went, I didn't yeah. hear anything. He was laying next to me while I was on the bed and he had passed away. And I knew the night before he was going to pass because he wasn't eating anything. Stinky had got really sick and just wasn't himself. And I had found him probably like three or four days later. Yeah. Um, after Rocky. Um, and I had a feeling he was going to go to... So, I have, now we had five, now we are down to three. Uh, and we had yeah. a dog go AWOL, majorly. 
she did. She decided to literally take a walk through everybody's backyard in the neighborhood. So <laughs> that's what she did. She went missing for like 24 hours. And somebody picked her up and drove her all the way out of our township into a different county and put her into a different shelter. Luckily, the shelter even took her because they're technically not allowed to do that. Yeah, but they didn't want her to go drop her back off because it was in the middle of the night. Um, but she's home. She's tired. She's She's, she's good. Fine. She's okay. She's not harmed. You know, she was frightened and anxious and things of that sort. And she could not wait to see us. She was so happy. <laughs> she says, <laughs> like, I don't know where I am now, but she was a lucky pup to be found. Um, unfortunately, nobody... The shelter, not even the shelter, or um, the girl that I found her posted her on a lost and found site in the, the county that they she was found. posted her on a bargaining garage sale site. And I had never thought to look there. I mean, I was looking at every lost and found site for dogs, just you know, for the county, for near me, or 15 miles away. I did a radius about that far for all the shelters, and none of them had posted. Yeah. The shelter had decided to post her on a lost and found site of a sale, a bargaining site. It was uh, a township uh, bargains and Bar deal something. And I'm like, my friend, she does, uh, or my coworker, she watches them sites a lot because she does go to a lot of rum sales and estate sales and stuff. And this is where the, what they post. And she's like, nope. Have you found your dog? I said, no. She's like, well, she just came up on... Such and such site. site. Yeah. Like, and then she sent me a photo of her, and I said, oh, my God, no. And luckily, they said they were open until 6. We got there at 5. They said, we're closed. And I said, why your, Why does your phone answering system and your your email say that you're all open until 6? Oh, we're just closing down early today. I said, well, then you need your stuff to say that because I'm here to come and get my dog, expecting you guys to be open. Luckily, she let us come in and get her and things yeah. like that. So She was super happy to see us. So, that was a whole whirlwind for about two days. Yeah, that so, took some time. Yeah. yeah. Going door to door. But, you know. But they're all good. They got all new sweaters. Um, they like to wear clothes. Um, my one dog, Chloe, she always loves to be in a sweater or a t-shirt. And she likes to wear a jacket outside. Yeah. Um, so... I got her new sweaters today, um, and Allie actually let me put a sweater on her, and she's all for the count. You can kind of hear her snoring a little bit, yeah. but she's actually being very quiet compared to what she usually is. Finally, she snores like a bear, guys. <laughs> but but um, now we're rambling, so. So, it was nice to chat a little bit again with you, and thank you for joining us, and Thank you for watching us if you guys have hung on this long. Mm -hmm. So, but we will see you again soon. We yep. hope. And remember, if you guys are interested in opening an oyster and getting your own pearl and watching me grow in a new business and a new journey, um, find me on Facebook at Along the Pearl Reef um, with Ashley. And I will show you a little bit about the jewelry and a little bit about myself as we go along the journey um, knowing that it's new for me. So again, it's along the Pearl Reef with Ashley on Facebook. Um, if you guys are interested in pearls, I'm actually wearing one of their necklaces from the last catalog. This is one of my first... It was an anniversary gift. I had begged her. I've been watching the episodes forever from this one girl and I seen this in a catalog. I had an obsession with keys. Oh, you have no idea, guys. And my wedding necklace that I picked out for jewelry and everything is a, a key. key. It's a key. It's the Disney um, uh, Cinderella's Castle, and it's got a crown right here. So you can tell that I like keys. So I seen this. I said, "Babe, look, it's a key." And you know, she said, "Oh yeah, you know, go ahead." And I said, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> she was like shell shocked. Like, wait, what? <laughs> So I got that for my anniversary gift uh, last year. Yeah, last year. Um, and I've been watching them ever since, and I was like, man, that'd be really fun to do. And 
I don't know, like last month that I got the whim to, or that was actually a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I got the whim to say, oh, let me just apply and see if what happens. And I got a call. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us and hanging on this long. I know it has been a long haul. And I know we are tired and mm -hmm. we need to get our butts to bed because we both have to work tomorrow. But until next time. Uh -huh. Thank you so, so much. And don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, find us on Instagram at Sweetheart Stitchers, Facebook at Sweetheart Stitchers. We've been trying to keep up. We keep up pretty good with Instagram. Um, yeah, so I do. If you want to see what we're doing, we're, we do pretty good on there. I usually um, post what I'm knitting on or something like that mm -hmm. and things of that sort. So hit Instagram over Facebook. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah. I'm working on trying to work on Facebook, getting trying to get the admits that I figured out for both of yeah. you guys to do it. It's buggy. Yeah. Um, but, you so. know, it is what it is. But we will see you next time, and hopefully it's not a whole month, but give or take, that's usually what happens. Yeah. So, before Thanksgiving, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Please, before Thanksgiving. Hopefully. Because I know this one will be cooking. Who cooked last time? I helped. I peeled. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for hanging in there with us. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of the yarn or patterns or anything of that sort, I could go on and on. But, you know, <laughs> um, thank you guys for joining us. And so, have a so happy, happy, happy Halloween. And be safe. Make sure your kids are enjoying their time. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.